Uh, hello? Can you hear me? All right. So you should be facing the main security office. <laughs> Doesn't look like a security office, huh? Yeah, it's more of a control room, if you ask me. Okay, you know what to do. Uh, get in, get some artifacts, get out. Pretty simple, right? Well, not if you don't know what you're doing. Alright, so let me explain the machines and the gizmos. The lever in front of you makes the pipe above you excrete gas that fry animatronic circuits. Uh, did I mention there are active animatronics in there? Well, now you know. This lever only excretes gas if there's enough supply for them. If you run out of gas, you open up the camera and click the little wrench icon in the top right corner. This is the maintenance screen. There are a bunch of things you need to keep track of, one of which is the gas supply. Once the gas supply is empty, you can refill it by clicking and holding the refill button. When you excrete gas, you will lose oxygen and your body will try to intake much faster, temporarily. This will cause the oxygen supply to go down for a bit, but will automatically refill itself. But these supplies may go broken and you'll need to fix them. To fix the gas system, click repair to automatically repair it. Now you may notice these spinning fans in the screen. Each room in this building has fans. These fans may break from time to time and you'll need to fix them. To fix a fan, click on the room with the broken fan on it and click the button Repair Fan. Now the problem is, you won't know a fan is broken. The facility used to have this feature where you know what fan is broken, but machines age, sadly. That means you have to go to every camera until you're on the room with the broken fan. If you don't repair them, your vision may go slowly dark, because these fans excrete oxygen from outside. But don't worry, your vision will completely dark. If you fix the broken fan immediately. Alright, I think that's it for tonight, actually. Call me when you reach 6 a.m.
Alright, I unlocked the door on the left. You should probably go there first. Remember, find something and get out quickly. Stay for too long and you're dead. Got it? Alright. Good luck, man. Wow, this is dark. Okay. There's nothing much here, it seems. Try finding a password protected safe that I can hack into or something. like the security system in this facility tripped, and the animatronics are a part of it. But there's not much time. We have to hurry. Hold on. I got this. Wait, what? Um, I can't hack the safe. I need the safe's port number, and the only way to get that is through you. Quick, bring up your phone. I sent you a program. Don't worry. It's easy. Welcome to the grid. If you use your mouse to left click on a box, you'll create a pathway. Uh, try it now. If you keep left clicking on the box, you'll change the arrow's direction. Go on, keep going.
Come on, dude, one more. Go to the safe again. Alright, so the pin code is... 6, 4, 4, 5, 4, 7. Last night was a disaster. Let's just hope today isn't. Alright, if you beat the last night, you'd beat this one. There's no way each night's gonna get worse after the other, right? Number of electrical disturbances is detected. Three. Wait. Three animatronics? <laughs> oh, looks like each night is worse than the other. Way worse. Hey, here's some advice. Why don't you try repairing the gas system from time to time so it doesn't break whenever you need it the most?
What have we learned last night? Um, that touching any electrical device is dangerous and triggers the facility's security system. But that's what we're here for, right? No pain, no gain. Alright, try finding another electric safe. firewall so I can hack my way into the safe. And to do that, you need a virus. I can't send you the virus software through your phone because, well, it's a virus. I'm gonna send you lines of code. Type those codes into the phone to write the program. Once this program is executed, it will disable the facility's firewall, and I will be able to hack the safe so we can all go home. Got it? All right, here's the first line. Come on, keep going. What are you doing here, Mom?
Come on, dude, one more. cassette tapes you found yesterday? It might be a good idea to play them while you work. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Uh, hello? 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 Uh, this, uh, 
this is just a reminder that the jolly suit behind the Boston Service Room is incapable of being worn. Uh, we attempted that the inside metal parts of the suit have been damaged. Uh, a kid got spaghetti over the place or something? I don't know. Our security guards didn't know what happened. Heck, you were the first one to know. This is getting fired tonight. Uh, the suit is uh, in schedule repair for next week, so uh, don't use it. Uh, also, in another note, tomorrow is a brand new down to work day. So, uh, if you're responsible enough to guard your daughter from touching our robots and work at the same time, well, uh, uh bring your daughter. And, uh, if you're not responsible enough and you let your daughter break our robots, then the bill for repair will be taken off from your paycheck. You may as well find a new job after that. <laughs> Uh, on a side note, everyone did a good job today. Well done for that. Uh, anyways, I uh, think that's about it. See you tomorrow.
What brings you here, in this harmonious place of ours? It's an unusual time to receive visitors. I didn't even get to clean this place up. Did you come here to see someone? Or did you come here for something else? You came here for evidence. You came here to relive the past. Well, that past doesn't want to be revisited. Especially that particular past had some bad events attached to it. You don't care what other people think. You don't care what they feel. All you care about is the fame that you'll get. The money that you'll indulge in. It's fascinating. How money can make people do things they never thought they'd do. If you haven't noticed yet, people who come here don't go out. And it stays that way. Although, I have to give you credit. It's fascinating. How you managed to three nights here. This will be your last.
were dead. Your phone hasn't been responding for 30 minutes. there was an active animatronic hidden in the hall and I didn't warn you. And I'm sorry for that. I thought you'd pussy out, you know? Just try to be more careful next time, please. Alright, which one you didn't get yesterday's memo? I told you all the safe room is not for regular employee use. Just had a door is unlocked this morning. And also, why is the ketchup all over the floor? We don't told me that there was ketchup. This brings me to the conclusion that one of you may have thought that this room was a break room for employees. Spoiler warning, it isn't. Alright, I repeat. This is not a break room and should not be considered a place for employees to hide and or conduct. And under no circumstances, we're going to take this room and have to enjoy it. I have all these speech in words and actually understood what I just said. If I see where we entered that room again, I fire. Alright, see you tomorrow.
All right, a safe should be around here somewhere. Come on, help me find a safe. Oh, I got the code right here. Passcode is... Seven, seven, one, eight, two, nine. That was easy. Why does everything have to end? Like trust, tension, love. Why isn't forever existing? Doesn't it exist in where we need it the most? Something bad happens. Something bad always happens. You don't know what happened. You will never know what happened. You won't understand. Nobody understands pain. Unless you fix it, you can fix the past. Can you do that for me? The codes are hidden. Fix the past. Make history not repeat itself. And you will change what happened forever. I'm not happy with what we got at the moment, man. All we have is a bunch of children drawings and cassette tapes. Oh, what, the, what will the public think about this? We gotta fix this. I want an animatronic out of there. Do whatever it takes. if someone here wants to guard our cargo while it's being transported. So uh, if anyone wants to volunteer for this, just reach me in my office tomorrow. If someone doesn't want to volunteer, then I'll just get more randomly from my security office. Man, what happened with this tragedy? I'm truly sorry to everyone who's gone fall. I'll be finding your sons and daughters very soon. Alright, see you tomorrow.
Whoa, Dick. Did you know about this? There's a passageway right leading to another facility right next to this building. The passageway is located at the storage room. Maybe there's an unactivated animatronic there? It's worth a try. <laughs> Look, I know that you're the one doing all the work, and I know that you're tired of all this bullcrap. But think of all what you get if you do this. All the money, all the recognition. You're tired of living the same boring life every day. And that's why you did this in the first place. Right?